Hey, Joel McDonald here again with another quick email tip for you if you are a Gmail user to be as productive as possible with your new leads. So, um, if you're like me, you have tons and tons of new emails and you probably want to have a way of organizing them. And uh, I'm going to show you two tricks. One is how to organize your and filter your emails so you can stay organized. And more importantly, I'm going to show you how to pick select important emails like new leads uh, or replies to certain emails that you'd really like to get uh, alerted to right away um, via text message. So let's say that the AHF system sends you emails with a subject line of new lead and you'd like to get a text message whenever you get an email with that subject line. All you have to do is click on one of those sample emails and then go over here to the more section and click on filter messages like these. And they're going to pre-fill a few things. So like, for example, if it comes from a certain email address and it would probably come from admin and automated home finder, or I don't know what the exact address is, but whatever address it comes from, uh, you're going to want to make sure that the system knows to filter that. And uh, also you want to put the exact subject line. So in this case, it's new lead. Um, and then all you have to do is hit create filter with this search and you can do a couple different things. What I like to do to keep my inbox as clean as possible is I like to skip the inbox and I create a new folder and in order to do that I, cr I apply a label and then I create a new label and I would say new leads. And I might asterisk it because that's a really important one. And I would hit create. So what that will do is not clutter up my inbox. It will put it in a very special folder just for new leads. So that has to do with organization. Something else you want to do is forward it. Um, oops, and I, my mistake, you can either forward it or apply a new label. So since it's, in my opinion, more important to forward it, You're going to add a forwarding address. And the, the cool thing about this is you're going to say, uh, you're going to enter your text message address. So you might have to look this up, but for example, if you're with AT&T and your phone number is 303, not at 404, which would be Atlanta, 303, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's say that's your 10 digit cell phone number. And if you're an AT&T user, you create an email address out of it. So you go at att dot, or txt dot att dot net. That will send that email to your cell phone. Of course, uh, standard text message rates apply. Uh, so use that sparingly if that's a concern to you. But as soon as you do that, the system will then forward all emails to that, which is your cell phone's text messaging address. So the second you get an email like that, you'll get a text alert so that you can follow up with them right away. So you now hit proceed. And you'll need to confirm that. Uh, so, you know, you would get an email. And once you get an email or more specifically a text message, you just click the link they provide you and then from then on you'll have permission to uh, for Gmail to forward those to your cell phone text message uh, address. So those are two quick features that, uh, that you're able to do and that will help keep you more organized with incoming emails if you happen to be a Gmail user.